Well, on our interview segment today, first we'll stay with Nigeria's economy. Let's understand some burning economic issues at this time. A lot of them at this time are regards to Russia and Ukraine crisis, other global issues. We still have lockdowns in China. How does all of this affect the value chain, the movement of goods and services, which will definitely impact on the figures? We'll look at that on the first side of the show. And on the flip side, we'll stay with the aviation fuel crisis. Let's understand the price mechanism uh, of this product. Not just aviation fuel, diesel and other deregulated products. Well, let's give you some updates with news making headlines across the country. Now, after years of privatization, Nigeria's paper mills have collapsed, forcing the economy to depend on imported paper for its needs. According to the latest data from the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria imported papers and its allied products were 296.696 billion naira between July and December 2021. While paper valued at 188.137 billion naira was imported in the third quarter of 2021, import in the last quarter of the year was estimated at 108.559 billion naira. The report also shows that Nigeria once had three paper mills in the country, which includes the Nigerian paper mill located at Jeba, Kwara State, the Nigerian Newsprint Manufacturing Company Limited. Oku Iboku in uh, Akwaibom State and the Nigerian National Paper Manufacturing Company Limited in Ogun State. But the mills are no longer operating even at half of their capacities. And now, uh, meanwhile, industry players have attributed the paper industry collapse to lack of due diligence before selling the paper mills. Assets are adding that local paper industry is in need of urgent government intervention given its huge market size.